This is the Ciate London Gelog Gelology. Gelology. That's real hard for me to say. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my January Ipsy bag here for you today, and as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this bag. I've tried out the products inside, all except for one, so I have some thoughts on them, some little mini reviews to give you, and yeah, let's get to it. So the theme this month looks like it's very city inspired. It says Metropolis, and if you guys know, Timothy loves Superman, so Metropolis is definitely like a Superman sort of a term, so I think that's kind of cool. And I really like the bag this month. It's kind of like a meshy, see-through-y looking situation. It's kind of like an icy, silvery blue. It's really, really pretty, so I like the bag a lot this month. So the first thing in here, unfortunately, I was not able to try because I still have my fake nails on. This is the Ciate London Gelog... Gelology, Gelology top coat. And it says, upgrade your nail polish to a plump gel effect mani with Gelology. <laughs> That's real hard for me to say. Top coat for extreme hold, long wear results with serious shine. So I've really liked Ciate London. Um, can't say that either. Ciate London stuff in the past that I've tried and this packaging is really cool looking and I'm sure it works great. So at some point I will definitely try it out, but for now I can. You hear some like grinding sort of noises. My neighbors are having some work done on their house and they're like grinding and drilling things and they're like right outside the window of the room that I film in. So if you hear grinding or whatever, that's those weird noises. Okay, next product. I got the Purely Say Blue Lotus Seed Mud Mask Plus Exfoliant. It says gently resurfaces, detoxifies, brightens, tightens, smooths. 10 minute facial. So I've mentioned before that skincare is not my favorite thing to get in subscription bags or boxes just because I'm picky about skincare. But if I get it, I like to get masks and clay sort of masks are my favorites. And this one, I really, really liked. So it's like a clay sort of a mask, but then it has little beads in it. So it kind of exfoliates too. It feels exfoliating when I was putting it on my face, felt exfoliating when I was washing it off. So I really liked this. Like it tightened up and felt like a clay mask, but then it had that added exfoliant in it too. So I thought it was cool. It says blue lotus extract is a powerful antioxidant known for its anti-inflammatory benefits. White clay tightens skin and purifies pores. Bamboo improves skin texture. Ginger detoxifies. Mushroom extract helps to brighten skin tone. White tea soothes skin. Rice bran water improves skin texture. So a lot of benefits to this. Really, really liked it. I was really excited to see this in there. This is the Balm Bahama Mama Bronzer. And I used this in the crease and my eye look today and also on my face. So really the only negative that I have to say about this is the tiny packaging was hard to use with like a contouring brush. When I used it on my eyes, it was perfect with an eyeshadow brush, no problems there, but trying to get any kind of a larger brush in this is hard to do. So that's why it kind of looks like muddy and dirty because that was kind of like swirling and it was just getting the product on the packaging. So, I mean, that's not the end of the world. This is great for um, traveling because it's so tiny. So I don't really mind it. It's just going to be, you know, a little bit challenging to get in there with a brush, but I can handle it, especially for travel. Perfect for that. So it's kind of like a mid-tone but slightly warmer kind of a bronzer. I really do like this. I used it for contouring um, up on my forehead, a little bit on my neck, and it's one of those great kind of like do-it-all sort of bronzers. You have to like that kind of like slightly warmer tone to it, but I do really like it, and it seems to pretty much be matte, maybe satin. Maybe a slightly satin finish to it, but I really, really like this. Next, I got a blush. This is the Manicadar Beauty Paradise Blush. And I do have this on today, but I have it over something that I got in my BoxyCharm box and also with a highlighter that I got in my BoxyCharm box. So clearly we have a lot going on on my cheeks today. I went real crazy and over the top with the blush. I applied a lot of highlighter, so there's a lot happening on my cheeks today. So I do have this on, but with other things. So it's kind of like a warm toned, pinky coral sort of a color, but it's like a deeper kind of a coral. It's really pretty, really pigmented, glowy, just 
pretty intense. Yeah, it, it's, it's pretty intense. But it wasn't hard to work with. It wasn't hard to blend. But you can see, I mean, this is a pretty intense blush look. Now I do have it over something that has a lot of color to it also. So it's kind of like a double whammy. But I mean, you can see it in the swatch. This is pigmented, but really, really nice. I think this is going to be such a pretty color for spring and summertime. It's just a beautiful, bright, fun blush color. And if you just apply it really lightly, a color like this can just be so fresh and youthful looking. Really, really like this. I'm super excited about this. I love getting color cosmetics makeup. So I love getting it in my bags and boxes. So I love lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, bronzer, highlighters. Like that's my favorite stuff to get. And lastly, I got a pigment. This is Naked Cosmetics Desert Sunset. I do have this on my lids today and also on my lower lash line. I really, really like this. Now it is a pigment, so it can be kind of messy, but I like Naked Cosmetics pigments. Like I've gotten one before in another Ipsy bag, I think it was, and I loved that one. And I really love this one too. It's like a beautiful, bright, taupey champagne. Well, no, rose gold. Like a, it's more rose gold than taupey. I thought it was taupey. No, it's rose gold. But it's beautiful. It looks taupey to me in the container, but it's rose gold. <laughs> it's gorgeous though. Like it's super pigmented and that's applied with no kind of a mixing medium. So that's what it looks like even just by itself. So it's still intense, but I used it with Mac Fix Plus on my lids and it was like, well, bam. I mean, just so metallic and beautiful and it built on itself really nicely. So you can just intensify it even more. It's so pretty. Love, love, love that. So I'm super excited about that too. All right, guys, so that's everything that I got in my Ipsy bag this month. You can probably already tell that I loved this bag. This was one of my very favorite bags I've ever gotten. I really enjoy everything in there other than the nail polish top coat that I'm not able to try out. I love everything. I think it was all awesome, great products. They performed nicely. They're things I like to get in bags. So super duper happy with my bag this month. So if you wanna sign up for Ipsy, I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. I would love to know what you got in your Ipsy bag. Let me know that down below. What was your favorite thing that you got in there? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.